Hey everybody, Lux in the Swirl here. We are going to do a pour over this cute little heart box I found at Dollar Tree recently. It is a cardboard box, paper, and I am going to separate the lid and I'm going to put this on the taller cup and then the top is going to sit on the shorter cup. And we are going to do a layered tree ring-ish dirty pour over the two boxes. So we'll end up with a decorated cute little box when we're done. And the paint will pour onto the canvas from the boxes and we will then tilt it and get a painting as well. So uh, what paints am I using today? Well, I decided that since I always tend towards greens, blues, and purples. I will not use any of those colors today. I will only, I will only use colors that I normally gravitate away from, if that's even a thing. Stay away from. Uh, these are going to be, art, these are Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paints. I am going to use Deep Yellow, uh, Orange, Bright Yellow, Crimson, Silver, uh, black, you'd think I could tell from the color, but the label's all smeared, of course, and metallic white, and I may add, I thought I'd grab the gold here, also old gold. So we will see what we will get with those different colors. First, I'll layer our cup in no particular order. Uh, this is an 8x10 canvas, so we'll need a minimum of 5 ounces of paint, probably a little more, because a little bit of it will stick on the boxes. I will fill my 10 ounce silicone bowl at least halfway, probably a little more than that. Alrighty, let's layer a cup. A tiny bit of red. All right, that should do it. Put away my paints and we shall commence pouring. I'll go up this side. Okay, and now we do it.
that. Definitely want to save some of these uh, rosettes from the drips here. I will clean up my gloves and I will take you in for a close up. Hold tight. Here is the top of the box. And then here's the box bottom. Here's one side of the box. There's the other side of the box. Very pretty. And, there. and now we're painting. Here is the lower right corner up the right hand side. I love all of those rosettes. Those are so pretty. Upper right hand corner, across the top. Upper left, down the left side, lower left corner, across the bottom, and the full picture. I will bring you back to show you the dried box, so stay tuned. Hey everybody, wanted to bring you back like I promised and show you how everything dried. Here is our beautiful painting. Looks pretty much the way we left it, but it is dry. The Artist Loft Ready Mix Pouring Paints really do have an amazing gloss finish when they dry. They also tend to be a little sticky even when they dry. If you were to bump this up against another painting with the same thing, they would, they would weld together wherever they touched. So what I did with our box, which by the way, I think looks gorgeous. After I turned off all the cameras yesterday, I realized I had a little more paint in my bowl, layered paint. So I drizzled it out in a, a straight pour right on the top to get rid of that kind of crazy line that was there. And now I have more of a, more, more of a know, rose rosette sort of thing, which I think looks really pretty. And um, to make sure that these parts didn't weld together when I put the box together, I took both parts individually out on the deck and I sprayed them with Rust-Oleum 2X Gloss Clear Spray Paint to seal them and finish them off. And now the parts come apart and go together nicely and they're a little better protected. Uh, you can see, I think because of the wet paint, a little bit of the paper on the top crinkled a little. Uh, that doesn't really concern me a whole lot. I think in general it's gorgeous, but that's something to be aware of. It might happen because it's it's not just cardboard, it's paper covered cardboard and the paper gets wet, obviously, when you pour paint on it. So there you have it, folks. All right. Thank you for joining me today. Stay safe. I will see you in the next video.